hi guys uh, welcome back so this time around we are going to look at the looping or iteration statements so uh, what are loops so loop statements are used to execute a block of code repeatedly for a specified number of times until a certain condition is met and uh, from the introduction I said that uh, we have uh, three types of loops, three main types of loop in that. That is the for loop, while loop, and do while loop. So uh, imagine a situation whereby you want to, to print hello world uh, 10 times. In most scenarios, uh, the quickest way to think about it will say that we can print hello world we can use print hello world in order to display that information uh, if it is one time it will be an easy task imagine if you are to print hello world uh, 100 times that is very hectic and it means you'll be repeating the same thing over and over again so in comes the loop so for loop generally helps you in uh, achieving the, this task in a much simpler way with the few lines of code uh, whereby you give your condition and you give the number of times or you just give the condition to meet the number of times you want to print out the uh, hello world so for loop is usually used uh, when you want to execute a block of codes for a known number of times the for loop usually takes variable as an iterator and assign it with the initial value so i'll uh, look at uh, the syntax for for loop the syntax for for loop is you have the for outside the round brackets then you give your initialization condition then you increment or decrement the value so let's just uh, look at this example in this example we have uh, we've initialized we, we have our variable here num which is an integer then you say if num is equal to one num is less than or equal to 10 then num plus plus so the function of uh, num plus plus is to increment the value of num you can either increment it or decrement it so every time the loop runs it will either increment it until it meets this condition of num is, is less than or equal to 10. Uh, let's just jump into the visual studio code and look at an example so in this example we have uh, we have the word here and uh, we have the variable message hello world and uh, we have our function main function where we are given the for loop and we are saying that uh, int i is equal to zero that, that is under initialization and i is less than message dot length basically we want to look through the variable message and access the different uh, index of the the string elements in it so let's just run it and see the output. So when you run it, you'll realize that we have uh, the values from zero, the indexes from zero all the way to 10. And if you count these, uh, the, L, the string elements, you'll see that we have at index zero, we have H, then E, then L, that way up to d and if you count them you realize that they are 10 so basically you've just printed the index of the different string elements in that variable using a for loop and you can do many many things using the for loop you can uh, maybe you have a list you want to iterate through a list you can use a for loop you can do several things so basically for loop is the uh, most suitable uh, when you are talking about uh, you, you have uh, specific number of times that you want to iterate it is a uh, good for that kind of iteration so let's just proceed uh, after the for loop 
uh, we have uh, also under for loop you can use that for in loop this is basically if you want to take uh, it takes a uh, that expression around object as iterator and iterate through the elements one at a time in a sequence so I won't talk much about the that for in, in loop. You can look at that and see how you can work with it based on the for loop that we've already talked about. And the next thing I look at is a while loop. So while loop executes a block of code until the given expression is full. And the while loop is suitable when the number of execution is unknown. So the syntax for while loop, we have it here. You see we have the while. You first uh, write down your while, then the condition which uh, the while loop needs to meet in order for it to iterate through a given uh, condition. Then uh, we have the loop body. This is where the loop body goes. And uh, let's just jump into this pseudo code and look at an example. So, uh, in my example, I have. Uh, Two functions. I have a greeting function and a main function, and I also have a global variable i, which uh, I've given the value of zero. So what I'm trying to do in this case is, we want to print out this message variable, which says hello world. And uh, in order to print it, we want to print it based on the give based on the given condition of the while loop. Uh, so instead of going and printing print hello world print hello world this is a better way using for loop to print it so that you don't have to repeat yourself uh, so let's just uh, run the loop and see what comes out so if you run the loop you'll see that it will print hello world uh, based on the number of uh, conditions that are met. So if you count, you'll find that one, two, three, four, five. So it print it out when uh, i is zero, it will print it out. When i is one, it will print it out. When i is two, it will print it out. When i is three, it will print it out. And when i is four, it will again print it out. So basically what it does, it checks through this loop, it will say if uh, I you replace it with zero, is it less than five? Then it is true. It will run the greeting function. Then again, it will check. Uh, it will uh, it, it will increment it to one and say one. Is it less than five? Then it will check it. It will run the function because it's less than one. Another way you can uh, do this, you can do a decrement uh, while loop. We can say, we can say there we give it a value of five. Then we say, i is greater than zero. I is greater than zero. Then in this case you'll be decrementing. And just to show you that it's decrementing, we'll uh, add something here to show. Just show the way it will be decrementing. To see that it's decrementing, then I'll run it. Then you'll see it will be decrementing from when i is five. Is five greater than zero? It will run. It will run that way until it reaches a zero. Then it will check is a zero greater than zero which is not true, it is equal to zero. Therefore, at that point, it will not run. And another thing maybe that I would like to point out is uh, when uh, dealing with loops, you have to be careful not to get into infinite loops. Infinite loops are whereby the con a certain condition is true. There's no point, there's no particular point at which it is false. So you'll find that the loop will continuously run without stopping. So let me just give a, an example. Let's say i is a one. Then uh, you say that uh, you want to increment it 
we say that i is greater than 0. This particular statement will be true all through. At no point will it be false. So the loop will continuously run uh, until maybe your computer crashes or until you stop it. Uh, so you see in this case, it will continuously run. It will continuously run until your computer crashes. So just, you just need to take care of that while doing your loops. You need to be careful uh, to know, to understand the condition that you want to set or to understand how you want your loop to run until a certain condition it is met. Um, I'll look into the next, the next uh, type of loop that we have uh, in that and uh, that is do while loop do while loop is a variant of the while loop but the difference there's a difference between a do while loop and a while loop in that uh, the condition in a do while loop is evaluated at the end of the loop uh, for example in this uh, scenario we have a while loop, a do while loop, and uh, we are saying, we are saying, print this is a do while loop while i is less than 4. Let's just run it and see the outcome. So if you run it, you'll see that it will print this is a do while loop, this is a do while loop four times uh, we can maybe say let's get the even numbers so we can say if i mod uh, 2 equals to 0 while i is less than or equal to 10 then we want to print I let's just run it and see the outcome so as you can see we will have all the even numbers between 0 to 10 which is 0 2 4 6 8 and 10 so that is a way of uh, using the while loop and uh, i'll think uh, for iteration or looping statements i'll stop at this point and i just want to encourage you guys to continue learning and practice more don't just stop with the simple examples that, that are given. Try to take it further. Look at complex uh, examples to see how you can work on it. And uh, if you face any challenge, uh, don't hesitate to contact us through the learning management system for further assistance. Uh, I'll leave it at that and thank you all for attending.